Hey what's up guys, this is the wild one for all, welcome back here to my youtube channel and today I'm gonna show you guys on how to mirror your android device to your pc so this will basically mirror on what you are basically doing to your android device and basically it should basically include audio well not really there is a way to get audio with this but I will show it to you guys later but Anyways, our only goal is to just basically mirror our Android screen to our computer. So, anyways, first things first, guys. You guys need to have it, you need to have USB debugging enabled on your Android device. This will basically work with any version of Android as long as it's Android, obviously. Just basically make sure it is currently enabled. If you guys do not know how to enable USB debugging, I will basically show you guys later on in this video. Once I currently have the screen of my Android device right here on my screen. Just so you guys should know on how to basically enable it. Anyways, for this guys, you guys will need WinR. This is currently free by the way. Well, basically the files are based... Well, basically the file for the mirroring application is basically currently saved inside of an archive you guys will basically need winrar to currently extract it you guys can basically use any kind of application you want it can be winrar winzip or anything you want for this i'll be basically using winrar if you guys do not have that i will leave a link down there in the description below for you guys to download that anyways click the two links down there in the description below for you guys to go to this website right here called xday developers forum and also github.com these two links will be down there in the description or basically on my website i'm not sure on what i'm going to put down there in the description i i might basically put a link to my website that will link you guys to this but anyways just click on the two links and basically you guys need to download this tool right here minimal adb and fast boot and currently this file right here well currently you guys can use minimal adb and fast boot for your routing needs on your android device but we are just going to focus on mirroring our android device well we're not going to root our device right now just basically using this application but anyways scroll down until you basically find right here download version 1.4.3 so just click on that to download it after downloading the file go to github and also scroll down until you guys find the, the until you guys find it here called assets you guys need to download depending on your current system if your system is currently a x86 or a 32-bit windows you need to download win32 if you are using a 64-bit operating system use win64 i'm currently using a 64-bit operating system so i will just download win64 you guys do not need to basically download the other files just the current zip for your current system whether it's 32-bit or 64. anyways once you guys have downloaded those go to the folder on where your files has been downloaded to mine is basically right here so we are going to have the file the scrcpy and the minimal adb fast boot first things first we need to install the adb fast boot so just click on next 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 and next and create a desktop icon next and install so that should basically install it just uncheck launch minimal adb and fast boot and click on finish you guys can now minimize the folder on where the downloaded files are and you guys will see this icon right here minimal adb fast boot you guys can basically add a, an icon right here later that depends on you but anyways right click on this click on open file location and that should open the location on where the adb and fast boot are currently installed as i said you guys can just basically use this as routing well since adb is of course one of the most famous tools when it, when it comes to routing your android device anyways go back to the downloaded um archive right here the scrcpy just right click on it click on open and it should basically open right here on winrar you guys can now close the folder on where the downloaded files are but anyways this is currently the archive or should i say what's in the archive now highlight all of the files and just basically drag and drop it to the 
ADB well of course the ADB location just drag and drop it and it should basically extract it to there um, you guys can skip the files that has the same names click on skip this files click on continue and it should basically move all of the files needed right here to this location anyways that, that is pretty much it you guys can close that and now open minimal adb and fastboot so now what you're going to do here is plug in your device which is your android device you can use a usb cable any kind of cable will do and now just well as long as it's a data cable obviously but anyways right here we need to first check if our device is currently detected well obviously it is currently detected right now as you can see right there this is my device samsung galaxy on 7 but let us make sure if adb currently detects it we are going to type in adb devices and that should basically check if it's basically connected okay so right now it is not basically being detected i will just unplug mine first and i'm plugging it in right now again adb devices okay so basically my device isn't attached so um let me just cut ahead on this video once i have my problem fixed so yeah i will see you guys later okay guys so I am back so now as you can see it is now connected well looks like there is a problem with my uh, current cable so I basically took a different cable for this but let us do it again let's open up ADB again and type in ADB devices and it should basically show your device you guys will see different characters and it says device if you guys see anything that says unauthorized or your device is basically unauthorized the way to currently fix that is just basically typing in kill or oh wait no your guys need to type in adb kill dash server by typing in that it should basically kill the adb drivers and now just type in adb start dash server and that should basically start the device as you can see it's now running and that should basically reboot the current adb drivers and now if you type in adb device well, oh wait adb devices sorry you guys should basically see something like this devices attached and basically some random characters right there anyways for us to currently run this just type in the file name which is scrpy okay looks like i basically forgot sorry let me just check again the name of the file okay so it's scrcpy okay so now just type that in s scrcpy and clicking on enter okay now it's running and there you go yeah i am now basically mirroring my own android device right here on my screen so yeah that that pretty much works and okay now i accidentally disconnected it hold on <laughs> i have to show it to you guys first again okay there is something wrong with my cable <laughs> this is currently a personal problem you guys should not basically have this kind of problem this is just a problem for me yeah i i literally need to buy a new cable for my device wow i'm not really sure if you guys are basically hearing me plugging it in and de-plugging it but basically this is a problem with my cable so um rule number one do not buy a cheap cable um literally anyways i'll cut this video once i have this fixed Okay, now that's connected. Um, let me check. Okay, let's see. Why? 
Okay guys, so I'm back. So the current good thing about this is basically you guys can actually interact with your device by just using your mouse. Like, yeah, as you can see, I'm currently controlling it with my mouse. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So for, this is how you guys can basically enable your USB debugging. So open your settings and scroll down until you currently find your well about device so open about device i am literally controlling my phone right now from my computer so um okay let's just basically control it on my phone but basically i'm basically afraid that it will basically disconnect again because i have a very very cheap cable but anyways you guys should basically scroll down and currently find your model number click on that okay hold on a sec Okay, never mind. So, okay, looks like I just basically forgot how to currently enable that. But basically, you guys need to, okay, here it is. You guys need to click on software info and click on the build number about several times, probably around 10 times. And as you can see, no need because the, the developer mode is already enabled for my device. You guys need to turn on developer mode and enable USB debugging since the developer mode is basically, well, the settings for your USB debugging. So just click on this build number for like several times. You guys should basically see a notification right there on the bottom of your screen. Once you have that enabled, or should I say currently enabled the, well, developer options you guys should basically see this new setting right here called developer options and the second that I have clicked on that I may have accidentally disabled USB debugging <laughs> hell SCR CPY and just basically wait until it opens but anyways here it is so clicking on developers options you guys will see USB debugging right here just enable that so basically, obviously, by disabling this, as you can tell, I will basically disconnect my own device. But just make sure that is currently enabled. And you guys should basically have this right here. And looks like it's not currently reconnecting. USB debugging is on and just basically type SCRCPY. SCRCPY and it should basically open up like this so yeah as you can see that basically works you can also control your own android device right here yeah so that is currently very very cool so anyways that's pretty much it so for you guys to currently enable the audio since basically all you guys are basically doing is capturing the screen if you guys want to basically stream a mobile game something like call of duty mobile or pubg you guys can just basically use a audio jack so you guys need to use a 3.5 millimeter audio cable in both ends I will basically show a picture somewhere right here on the screen so you guys need to use that cable and plug it into your own computer and just basically if you are using a screen recorder something like OBS you guys can just basically set it as a display capture or just basically game capture example game capture and just capture a specific window and just choose the specific window in this case this it is currently my Android device as you can see yeah that's pretty much how you record it now it's basically recording my own device right now so yeah that's pretty much it on how you guys can just basically do that so for your audio device you guys will need a 3.5 millimeter audio jack or audio cable in both ends just basically plug it into your Android device and plug the other end to your computer and just basically choose a audio input capture and just basically find your audio input so I don't have that kind of cable right now to currently test it but that is how you basically do it so if you currently have a device that only has a type C because the reason is basically some companies have already removed the headphone jack you guys can just basically use a well currently a bluetooth connector or just anything that you guys can currently use probably an adapter 
will currently be useful as well type c to usb or should i say type c to usb type c and audio well there are basically dongles around that you guys can try but anyways as you can see it currently works i can control my own device from my computer and that is how you basically mirror it so yeah that's pretty much it for you guys need to know in this video so it might be a complicated tutorial because this is my first time trying to teach you guys a very complicated tutorial but anyways that's how you do it thank you very much you guys for watching hopefully you guys have enjoyed please do leave a like and subscribe and also please do leave a comment now there below on what other videos should i do next if you have any questions you guys can just basically post it down there in the comment section also please do follow my facebook page and also my twitter account and i will see you guys in my next video goodbye